Well, a lot of people are excited about OA reopening. Lots of folks getting excited too about talking about the Sanger Theater coming back. We have Mary Lee Gay here to tell us all about it. Mary Lee, great to see you. Good to see you. So yeah, so it's been a challenge for a lot of businesses, a lot of venues out there. Tell us what this has all been like for the Sanger. It is. Um, I mean, we know everybody's having a tough time, but um, unfortunately the concert industry was one of the first industries to be affected mm -hmm. and we're going to be one of the last to kind of come back, at mm. least the way we were. Not that we know that there is ever the way we were sure. in the future, but, um, you know, we luckily um, got a, with the new orders, um, KIV allowed concert venues and, and entertainment venues like ours to reopen at 50%, but um, that's still tough. That's still a really hard thing to do with, you know, what what we do. Um, we've got promoters that have paid a lot of money for these acts mm -hmm. and at 50% they just can't, they can't even cover their costs right. between the cost of the act and the expenses. So it's been a pretty interesting, um, about a year for us. Right. Um, we had the mold situation, if you remember that. Um, where we were closed for about two and a half months to do mold remediation and now this so it's not been a great <laughs> um, but you know past year for us yeah taking a look at some of the work you've done uh, during the mold remediation there so so yeah not not a great time but the the good news is the singer has always been part of the the fabric of downtown mobile integral to the community and people absolutely love it so sticking with y'all through these hard times and wondering absolutely. what is next for the singer so what does it look like in the months coming ahead for y'all so we're kind of in limbo until we get the next mm -hmm. orders because um, we don't the next the current order expires July 3rd we don't have any public shows um, mm -hmm. which are ticketed shows until then we do have some dance recitals and a few other smaller events but nothing that people buy tickets to so we're kind of waiting to see hopefully you know we've got our fingers crossed that everything goes well people mm -hmm. you know we start to see the numbers come down with the coronavirus mm -hmm. um, obviously because we want people to be healthy but that will help hopefully us to be able to increase our numbers yeah and we won't get into all of it but I'm seeing here on the information that y'all pass along you're taking all the steps PPE for employees advanced cleaning all that kind of stuff yeah. so you're doing all of that we're prepping for all of that. Prepping for all of that. Yes. So in terms of the shows that you're scheduling, if everything goes well, uh, are there anything that folks can start to keep an eye on and hope that it works out at this point? Um, you know, we'll have to see. Yeah. With, unfortunately, with the July 3rd, when that expires. Sure. Um, you know, like I said, it's, if hopefully it's going to go up the occupancy yeah. and that will allow us to have talks with our promoters and see, make sure that they can take the risk because they're hurting right. badly. And um, we've got to make sure that we can do that safely and, and then also work with Ticketmaster to make sure we can seat pe people safely mm -hmm. and get enough people in there to um, make money for the promoters because that's that's what they want obviously sure. but yeah. but our fingers are crossed everybody that we've got on our schedule really really wants to make this happen we've moved some of our shows multiple times mm -hmm. and we feel like we'll continue to just keep pushing those back um, if we need to we won't we're going to do everything we can not to cancel them we've also got a lot of shows on hold that mm -hmm. um, for both the fall and 2021 that we're just kind of waiting to see and um, hopefully once we get moving in the right direction we'll be able to start scheduling those and confirming them and announcing those. But when the Sanger comes back, the people need to come back. We need the community Absolutely. support to keep the Sanger going. Absolutely. And not only just the Sanger, but it, mm -hmm. it helps downtown so much. You know, the Absolutely. restaurants benefit, the bars, everybody in downtown benefits when people are coming downtown. So it's not just for us. Um, it's, it's for everybody, our neighbors as well. So if you can come to a show, um, we, we ask you to, we are going to try to do, even if we stay at the 50% occupancy, we are going to try to do our um, summer movie series, which we do every year. Okay. And we're cautiously optimistic that that will start on July 19th. So, all right. So we'll keep an eye out for that. We'll yes. keep an eye out for all the future things coming up at the Sanger. We'll have Mary Lee here keeping us informed all along the way. Thank you so much for giving us the update today. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. We'll put a link to all their information so you can keep tabs on it online as well. Chelsea.